In this video, we're going to talk about Instagram inspirations. Today, we're going to be talking about my top three favorite photographers who I follow over on Instagram. The works of these guys are so amazing. It's seriously hard not to share their work out into the world. Let's start with number one. His name is Takashi Yasui. Now, this person is the very first IG inspiration I've ever had. Way back in 2016, when I decided to take photography a bit more seriously, I purchased my very first DSLR specifically for a trip to Japan. Now, Takashi Yasui is a Japanese photographer based in Japan, and so his photos are all about the everyday life in Japan. He takes photos of the street, of interesting architecture, he takes portraits, he takes still life, and his photos are so beautifully composed. But what strikes me the most is the way he edits them. I love the way that he composes his photos and there's really something about the way he uses his colors that resonate with me. So if you guys want to check him out, I leave a link to his Instagram account. His handle is underscore tuck4, T-U-C-K-4. But yeah, go check out the link, see more of his works and see more about Japan. Now oh, I miss Japan even more. Number two is Jilson Chu. Jilson is actually a very good friend and I met him a couple of years back doing some photo shoots for a couple of projects I did for my design firm which were for a publication called Real Living Magazine. He is undoubtedly one of the most talented photographers I've ever had the pleasure of meeting and I, and I really enjoy browsing through his feed. Whenever I see his photos, I always get a sense of passion and dedication for his craft. His photos always make me go think about how long he had to stay in a particular spot just to get this perfect shot. And when it rains, one of the first things I think about is Jilson is probably somewhere out there taking amazing photos. He has this knack for taking beautiful photos of water, of the rain, and they're really just so compelling to look at. His colors and composition are so distinct that sometimes when I'm browsing through an in-flight magazine or the newspaper, I kind of get the sense that it's Jilson's work, which usually turns out to be correct. Jilson is the type of guy who, if there's a story, he's bound to be there. I try to learn as much as I can from his work, especially when it comes to street photography. And as amazing as they already are, they just keep getting better and better and better. So be sure to check him out. I'll also leave a link to his Instagram account. I'm sure you won't regret it. And the last person is someone whom I would consider to be my current and biggest influence as of the moment. I don't know when and how it started, but one day I just decided to try and fix and curate my Instagram feed just so it looks more aesthetically pleasing. So I went into this phase where I tried to arrange my photos according to a color theme. And when I got to blue, that's when I discovered Pat K. Similarly, but also in a kind of different way, Pat K's work is so distinct and unique in their own way. In terms of colors, he has this certain way of working with blue tones. Like when, you, when I see his photos, I know they're edited, but they also look so natural at the same time. If, that's make, if, if that makes any sense. I spent so much time trying to learn from his process, trying to reverse engineer the way he edits his photos. I watched a lot of tutorials, a lot of his webinars. I even reached out to him on Instagram and he was very kind enough to, to give me some tips in return. I was so obsessed about the way he, he edits his photos, I even ended up buying some of his presets. His compositions are so deliberate, I'm completely amazed at how consistent they are. And aside from minimalistic, that's probably the word I would describe his work most. They're just so consistently blue, consistently sharp, and consistently minimalistic. Yeah, their works are the ones I really go back to and try to learn from as much as possible so that when we're out and when we're traveling, it's like I have this reference of thoughts and images that I can like I connect between the works of these three guys and so I hope you get to check them out browse through their feeds give them a follow and if you like this video please don't forget to hit like if you want more of this kind of stuff then don't forget to subscribe if you have questions leave a comment and I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching